And this is the Wolfbox Hardwire Kit equipped with a Type-C USB connector which is compatible with the following dash cams. And on this video I'm gonna show you all of its features and how it works in preparation for installation. As always I have placed a link in the description down below to this hardwire kit in case you need to get one for yourself. And on this side we have the end of the hardwire kit that's gonna go to the dash cam with a USB-C connector in a right angle and it has about 9 feet of length. Now on this side, this is the end that's going to go to the fuse box of the vehicle and we have roughly about 4 feet in length and we have molded on fuses. And the kit is compatible with 12 volt and 24 volt vehicles and it has a maximum output of 3 amps. As far as low voltage protection, which means when does the kit turn off to avoid draining the battery, if we're running it at 12 volts, it will turn off when the battery hits 11.8 and if we're running it on a 24 ball system it will turn off when the battery hits 23.7 and now let's take a closer look at the three wires that have to go to the fuse box of our vehicle the first one has been labeled ACC this wire needs power only when the car key is on the accessory position or the car is fully on the next wire has been labeled B plus this needs to have power all the time even when the car is off and finally, we have the ground wire. Now the ground wire is typically gonna be connected to a metallic surface of the vehicle. Normally I find a bolt that I can loosen, I slide this under and retighten the bolt, giving me ground. And to connect B plus and ACC to the fuse box of our vehicle, they have included molded on fuses. I would find the location that has ACC and B plus, and then I could just take the fuse and insert it into that location, in this case for B plus, and here's the other one for ACC. Now if you're curious, to know how I find the actual locations of B plus and ACC. I have already made a separate video showing that process. I'll put a link to that in the description down below. However, there are some disadvantages to having these molded on mini fuses. And the first one is that if my vehicle does not have the same fuse size, if it uses any of these sizes, then these guys are not gonna work. And I'm gonna have to cut this off and install the correct fuse size in order for me to be able to connect it to my vehicle. And the second disadvantage to having these molded on fuses is that if I don't have an empty spot on my fuse box, I'm not gonna be able to connect them to it. However, there is a solution that allows me to change the fuse size and also allows me to connect the hardwire kit even if there are no empty spaces on here. And those are fuse tabs. The fuse tabs come in different fuse sizes so I can cut this off and attach the correct fuse size so the kit can connect directly to my fuse box. And I have already made a video showing that process how I can cut that off and attach one of these fuse tabs. If you guys wanna check that out, I'll put a link to that in the description down below. And fuse packs also allow me to connect the hardwire kit even when there is no empty spaces on my fuse box. I can take a fuse out and transfer that over to the fuse tab. Once it's inserted into the fuse tab, I can insert the fuse tab into the fuse box, effectively allow allowing me to have two fuses into one fuse spot. And for documentation, they include this tiny instruction manual. It is in English and it is in full color, but it's very small font. So you might have a little bit of trouble reading it. Now it shows you how the hardwire kit works, how it can be connected to the vehicle, including real life examples, some pictures in here. You're probably gonna need a magnifying glass for that. And it also shows you what happens if the hardwire kit is incorrectly connected to the vehicle. And now that you know how a hardwire kit works, you you may also want to check out my other video on the actual hardwire installation process. I'll put a link to that video in the description down below, including a link to this hardwire kit in case you need to get one, and a link to a few step set in case you need that. And if you found any part of this video helpful, hit the thumbs up button to support the channel. If you have any other questions regarding this kit, please put that in the comments down below, and stay tuned as I have a lot more dashcam videos coming up for you guys. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.